to dancing uh, a competition or to dancing a show. And maybe your mind, uh, you are really understand what you, what, what you have to do. You take many lessons, you practice a lot, and you say, okay, I have to do this, 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 and this. And you arrive in competition, after 20 seconds, your body says, bye-bye. <laughs> because the body says, send to the mind a signal. Doesn't matter what you want to do. I didn't reply, I'm stop it. So forget it, uh, that you can do it. But it can be also the opposite. That your body is very, is very prepared. But your mind has a confusion of what it has to do. So I think the artistic way is become 50%. The, let's say, sport way. Because the sport way is become a 50%. So if you make these two together, you will make a jackpot. Because your body has to be ready to development. Good evening. Don't worry, you're in time, I just start. Your body has to develop what your mind wants to do. Okay? If I want to run 10 km tomorrow, <laughs> mentally it's easy. But my body has to run kilometer, start to have a cramp. So I can't do it. You need a preparation to do this. Now, when we're dancing, we have three basically action to development. Okay? Everybody know, everybody heard about swing. Everybody, I think, I hope, heard about rotation. And we have uh, also sway and shape. Okay? How about movement? Yeah, this is movement. Okay. When you move, you have this. So, what is uh, the swing? Let's say, swing, uh, the definition of swing uh, is. Uh, a pendular movement is a free movement from a fixed point. Okay? Remember this word, free movement. Free movement this means that if for example I have to do I don't know a promenade and I have to want to do a swing, free is means that I cannot hold in the movement to do it. So, to develop the swing, my action is to crossing the floor free, without holding. Okay? After we have rotation. Rotation, uh, let's say, if, you, if you're in front of the mirror, and if, you, if you're in front of the mirror, and then like, I call this one sumo position, like balancing position. <laughs> like, when I turn my body, this is an action of rotation. So, my spine, create a movement around our hips, okay? We are talking to each other for the Yes. <laughs> and because we're not going to go around, so I like, look here, I see everybody. No, no, I do this one. Okay, you go in there, I'm going there. So if I do, do rotation, our spine, our spine is working around here. After we have a sway, sway is like, uh, imagine that you have a a uh, plant sway is moving, boom, in this way, okay? Now, when we dancing, doesn't matter which dance you do, doesn't matter which figure you do, all figure have all these three ingredients together. You cannot have just one figure with swing, example, if, if we have, a, even without position, if you have a, just a natural turn, okay? I do just swing. I do the swing, but I don't turn. So it didn't come in the figure. Or if I do example, now I want to do a natural turn, and then turn. So I'm swing and turn. But I feel that something uh, it doesn't come in, because we are not counterbalanced. So each figure, now I put the sway, each figure we have in the day top, swing, rotation, sway, to have a counterbalance. If I do, I don't know, let's say left figure, OK? Just chassis, easy figure. If I do again, huh? chassis right. If I have just swing, I'm swinging the leg. What? I, the chassis didn't come because it didn't turn. I could talk. <laughs> <laughs> if I do swing and turn, okay, but now I fall out because we have a control balance. So I put the sway to finish the figure. I have swing, turn, sway. So all figure have more or less this ingredient. And you know, like a competitor, when I go in the lesson, some teachers say, Valerio, your leg is too late. 
Okay, so let's work about the lab. Next lesson, same teacher. Valerio, your body is too late. Okay, let's work about the body. Third lesson, Valerio, your leg is too late again. Fourth lesson, Valerio, the body is late. So if I'm stupid or I'm something that didn't connect. Now, in our experience, uh, like a competitor, we feel that uh, imagine that uh, you cut your body in three parts. Okay? We have first floor is like leg, from leg and foot. Second floor is the center. The top one, the third floor, is like from the rib cage until the head. Okay? Obviously, what is the piece in the middle? It's the center. So the second floor. This one is what has to connect the first floor with the third floor. And this one is very important for many things. First of all, because when we're dancing, the major contact is here. So ballroom, as you know, has three contacts. The hands, the hands, and all the center. Okay? So the center, for my idea, starts, for our idea, starts from here until here. So all this part is a center. It's a big center. This one, we have also connection, but maybe this one is, I don't know, 10 centimeter. This one is 50 centimeter. So we get more communication. <laughs> with the side. They're not with me. <laughs> anyway, stop it. Go on. So this part. Well, that's your fault. <laughs> this part is quite longer part that you have in connection. So this one, first of all, is important because we have connection. Second is important because we have to understand where we move this part. Because when we're dancing, we are two people in front. So I can't move my center same direction of Monica, otherwise I'm attack her. Or she can move when she moves forward, for example, her movement to my center directly because she will attack me. So there is like an exercise to feel it that the coordination in two centers is working together and in the same time we have also the action that I said before. We have the rotation, we have the sway, we have all this movement together. Okay? Now I give you a very stupid idea. Imagine that your body is a cross, it's like cutting by the cross. And one cross that is going from left shoulder to the right hips, or opposite way, from right hips to the left shoulder, and one cross that is going from the right shoulder to the left hips, or left hips to the right shoulder. Okay, it depends which, which what we're doing. Now, the easy thing is, imagine that when you drive, you know you have the seat belt here? Imagine that you have two seat belts this time. One here, one there. Now, the band which figure we're dancing, we have to using the body, so including all the center, following this two line. What I mean? I'm so sorry for you, but I need the mirror. So if you, you can see in the mirror. 